Now, we talked about it earlier, didn't we? And Hollywood's reeling from the news of Lisa Marie Presley's death. Well, we're back in Los Angeles with our Ross. Um, also making headlines this morning, Ross, um, Gwyneth Paltrow and Katy Perry being very open and honest. It was a real heart to heart, wasn't it? It was. Uh, open and honest up to a point, but I'm going to come back later and say, maybe who do you think they were talking about? Uh, they got together for Gwyneth's uh, Goop podcast. Katie talks about how she wants to be a grandma pop star. Gwyneth reveals how, you know, she felt like she was never actually enough in the past as well. It's really good stuff. Uh, Katie asked Gwyneth what she would give advice-wise to a 38-year-old her, which is Katie's age now. And she was talking about how she woke up on her 38th birthday and she knew her marriage to uh, Chris Martin from Coldplay would be open. Uh, they also bonded over a certain trait that both some of their exes shared. Can you guess who they're talking about? Did you always kind of like a type of man before? Because I did with yes, the same. Yes, narcissist. Yes. Yes, or nurse. I love a hot nurse. <laughs> or I loved a hot, hot nurse. Uh, I had, a, I had a, a couple of those. Yeah, I mean, they run, they're prolific in our yeah. industry. And, and they're really great for people who have bad self-esteem or think that we're not enough. Because it's just like, I fit right into this cycle. Oh, interesting. I think we can speculate on that, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A hot narcy. I've never heard it called that before. A hot narcy. Oh, very strange. They love a hot Now, look, narcy. we asked earlier <laughs> on who this was. I mean, as a major Hollywood star, uh, tell us, because yeah. I, can't, I, I don't know. Well, he's in a spy thriller. It's, yeah. You've got the whole hair and the, everything. He actually, when I saw this at first, maybe I'm going, well, we do know that I'm going completely Dulali, but um, I thought he looked a bit like uh, one of our favourite cartoon characters in the world, Ur Willy. Oh, Is it, it does. just me? Oh, what do you think? <laughs> He looks a wee bit like Ur Willy, and he looks a wee bit like James Caan playing Ur Willy in a movie. And Ur Willy's not rude, everybody. Well, there we are. <laughs> if you live in, in, if you've never heard, I can't believe you haven't heard of Ur Willy. But um, yes, he exactly. does. Tell me, tell me yes, who it is. Exactly. For good to say. Uh, it... Oh yeah, it's Robert Downey Jr. Can it's you not. believe it, Robert it Downey Jr. Not. It's a new. Yeah, new HBO show, The Sympathizer. It's a drama, it's a thriller. Half French, half Vietnamese man who's been a spy for the communist forces during the Vietnam War. There we are. Wow, I've never seen anybody transform like that. That's quite <laughs> astonishing. Um, Ross, now here's the Brilliant, thing. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Are you a traitor mm -hmm. or a faithful? And those that watch the show will know exactly what we're talking about. Ah, yes. Now, what's interesting about this show is my old pal, Alan Cumming, couldn't do the British one, but he's doing the American one, which, of course, as we know, is shot back in Scotland again. Yes. So, uh, nice one, Alan. Uh, the, I mean, the UK series, The Traitors, was huge, streamed over 28 million times. New, we've got the US version now, out last night over here. You can see it on the iPlayer. Uh, Alan, as I mentioned, uh, filmed at the same Scottish location, that beautiful Ardross Castle near Inverness, as in the UK series. Uh, if you're not really up to speed in this, it's basically 20 of America's most cunning contestants. You've got a mix of famous faces, uh, everyday Americans. It's all just a game of deception and suspicion. As you mentioned as well, you've got the faithful, you've got the traitors. The idea is to try and work out who's faithful, who's a traitor. If the faithfuls win, they get the money. If not, if one traitor's left, they get the money. 250000 of your US dollars. Have a little look. Boom, indeed. I mean, as you said, the one here with, with Claudia, with Claudia Winkleman who, hosting was a huge success. And the American one looks even, even more mad and fascinating. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> right, now, tell me some news of Luther. There's big news for fans of this. It's all getting oh, wrapped up, isn't it? This is sensational. And I am one of the biggest fans. It's coming back to our screens. Big screen initially. Uh, it's going to be a new movie. Are you ready for this? Idris Elba, back as a troubled detective. It's called Luther, The Fallen Sun. Ooh. That's Sun, S-U-N. As ever, a gruesome serial killer terrorising London. One big change, Luther is in prison. Fallen Sun released in cinemas February 24th, Netflix March the uh, 10th. March Excellent. the 10th for I that. Should watch Can't that. wait. That'll be really good. Now, look, shall we end? It's been a funny old week. <laughs> shall we end with something 
Completely yes. gorgeous. And um, you know, you know, there are many jobs I would love to do, ideal jobs like counting penguins and cuddling pandas. But how about driving this bus <laughs> in Alaska in Skagway? It's doggy daycare, and all the wee doggies, oh Ross, look, they're taking on the bus and they're so <laughs> well behaved. And then and then they take them to doggy daycare school. Look at them. Oh, it's love great. it. The little little puppy bus. Look at that. They've got their assigned seats and everything. Oh, and look at that. Not one of them paying for a ticket though. <laughs> eh? Where's the conductor? Uh, I love that. I want to be on that bus. It's fantastic. <laughs> Ross, thank you as always for everything for this week. Golden Thanks, Golds, of course. Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you next week. Thank you.